The Merchandiser, a handling guide. This video guide is offered to familiarize personnel with the features and handling methods recommended for the Merchandiser Crate, made by the Rarig Pacific Company. Running the Merchandiser on your equipment. It is important to adjust your case packers, continuous motion packers, inclined conveyor and sharp conveyor corner turns to accommodate the merchandiser. These adjustments are minor but important to a smooth running production line. Depalletizing. Both manual and automated depalletizer systems work without sticking. Just feed merchandiser in stacked columns. Crate washing. To achieve optimum cleanliness, Wash crates in water temperatures ranging from 95 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Using water hotter than 150 degrees could result in softening and deforming of the crates. Palletizing. The first item you must select is the cross-locking pattern you wish to use for filled crates. Whatever pattern you pick, remember, it must alternate and cross-lock every layer to fit pallet size. Roller friction on the indexing section of the palletizer may need to be increased to eliminate unnecessary sliding of packed crates. There should be a case overhang off of each pallet no bigger than half of the diameter of a bottle so that product touches other product while in transit. Stretch wrapping. Automatic stretch wrapping of palletized merchandisers is recommended in order to produce uniformly wrapped, clean and stable pallets. Even tension should be maintained over the entire pallet so bottles are not drawn inward, especially at the top corners. We advise using stretch film, 100 pound test, at least 24 inches wide. The wrapping film should begin or end below the first layer of merchandiser crates to ensure that the load is secured to the pallet. The wrap should be positioned to cover the area from crate to crate and not completely cover the top row of bottles. The merchandiser. Stacking filled pallets. Pallet conditions. Any size industry pallet may be used, provided it is designed to support the required load and is in perfect structural condition with no broken member. Positioning crates. Always center the merchandiser crates on the pallet and avoid excessive overhanging of the crates on any one side. Your Rarig Pacific representative will be happy to help you evaluate your pallet pattern choice and crate positioning for all crate sizes, including 500 milliliter, 600 milliliter, and 1 liter merchandisers. Stacking Patterns Based on your particular pallet size, select a suitable stacking pattern and build the first row. For 1 liter bottles at the Villahermosa plant, the first row is positioned with no more than a 10 millimeter overhang. The second row is a reversed pattern of the first row and should be positioned so that the lower bottle caps locate properly into the crate bottom above. The pallet configuration for the Valley of Mexico plant is also created with alternating patterns with no more than a 25 millimeter overhang. Make sure that the lower bottle caps are properly placed in the upper crate's twist and slide locating rings. Alternate the stacking pattern for each succeeding row until five to seven rows are built. The merchandiser in the warehouse. One. Rarick Pacific recommends that product filled merchandiser crates be stacked no more than three pallets high. We also recommend that you request stacking strength info from your bottle manufacturers. Two. Place the bottom slats of the pallets squarely on the tops of the bottles beneath. Pallet misalignment can cause cap damage or cause the pallets to lean and fall. 3. To avoid product damage, do not drag the upper pallet across the lower one. 4. Watch for bottles under stress, drawn in at the corners. This is a sure sign of a potential problem. Transport and Delivery 1. For safety reasons, it's important to place pallets side by side with product touching. 2. Bay trucks should be loaded with pallets against the forward wall of each bay, allowing a gap between the trailing edge and the rear wall of each bay. Delivery. The merchandiser is designed with the twist and slide bottom to make it easy to pull off a stack. As you grasp the palm up, palm down handle, the case can be unseated by simply twisting the case to the side at an angle, approximately 2 inches. 
This will unseat the case and allow you to slide it effortlessly across the closures below without damage. The handle. The merchandiser has a new ergonomic palm-up, palm-down handle that is designed to let you comfortably grasp the crate, whether high or low. When stacked crates are above the waist, the palm-down technique lessens the chance of wrist injury. As the stacks of crates get lower, it is time to use palm-up. Loading the hand truck. Stack all crates on your hand truck in columns, taking care that the closures in the bottom case align with the twist and slide bottom of the case on top. Setting up end aisle and island displays. End aisle and beautiful island displays must be cross-locked. Column stacks are not stable enough to ensure against injury. Stacking crates in short columns can be used only if columns are in an area with side protection or are against a wall. Returning empty merchandisers. The unique nesting design of the merchandiser allows any handler to nest them in one footprint. Remember, merchandiser does not require shrink wrapping for return to the storage area. Easy to use and easy to return. That's the merchandiser from Rarick Pacific.